My name is John Davitsky. Uh, I'm one of the people that helped organize the first Canary Century last year. Um, and that's really my first involvement directly with the Canary Foundation. I've been a donor for several years. The, my next door neighbor is Don Listwin, the founder of the Canary Foundation. And he's got a son that's more or less best friends with my son. I've been racing at the national championships now. This will be my ninth year. Um, and before that, I was just a recreational cyclist. So my motivations here, it turns out both my parents died of cancer. Uh, Eric Wahlberg, who many of the people around here know, uh, his mom died of cancer. Um, uh, lots of other friends have died of cancer or have been sickened badly by cancer. And, you know, the biggest way to improve the survival rate is early detection. I'm also motivated by the structure of the Canary Foundation itself, which is that the, the donations that come in from the public, 100% are applied towards the objective of the R&D into early detection of cancer, as opposed to most other foundations, which peel off some piece of overhead to help pay for their administrative costs and their fundraising costs and so on. And the costs are all paid for privately, not by the public. So the Cervello Bicycle Company um, is also committed to the Canary Foundation and working with us on the, it, it really motivated by the cause. And in the first year that we did this, what they agreed to do was they brought last year the Cervello test team, several other professional riders and a team car and so on, and just kind of spiced it up and made it fancy. Um, and then what they also did, though, too, was they made uh, bicycles for us that um, were had custom paint jobs and things that you just can't buy. Now, this bicycle in particular was one that they made. If you can see, it's got the little canary logo on the head tube, which is something that's you just can't buy these things. So have fun, do a little bit of training. Uh, but remember, it's also a fundraising ride, and what you're trying to do is 100% of the money you're going to raise is going to go directly to the R&D for the early detection of cancer. The camaraderie was so great. There's all these people out there together. Uh, we're just yapping away, talking, and eating good food, and, and then say, oh, yeah, we got to go ride again. So, you know, it was, it was pretty fun, and, uh, and we'll be doing it this year at the tail end of September, so hopefully the weather will be really nice. Um, and we'll have a pretty good party afterwards as well. So it should be a pretty good day. And it's a great cause, and we thank you for your help and your support.